Do it now. Oh, now they're bringing, yeah, here's the SWAT team right here. It's Boulder. And then I kept seeing them and seeing them and seeing them and seeing them and seeing them. And then we pulled over. Becomes the latest mass shooting site. That's when I realized something something horrible was going on. Even Aurora, the Aurora shooting, close, and it freaked me out, but it still wasn't Boulder, right? This is Boulder, not only Boulder, but this is like my front yard. It hits even closer to home for so many others. And he shot twice in our direction. And uh, I thought he was gonna shoot my son. Oh. She was inside King Supers when that shooter opened fire. We were at the end and uh, shots just started going off. And I said, that's a gun and Nicholas hit the floor. And I stuck down. And I just started listening for the direction, and he was heading towards us. Now, outside and safe. Uh, I'm just glad that we're out. I'm just glad that we ran. The reality sinks in that at least 10 others didn't make it. And I just wanted to stop for the guy in the road, but he was too close, and I couldn't stop for him. Grief anxiety and confusion as the people here now try to make sense of something that doesn't. I just, I don't, I can't wrap it. It's like, I am trying to wrap it around my head, but I just, I'm like in shock. I just can't believe this is happening. Yep. Yeah, and that's the same thing that we heard over and over and over tonight. Nobody thought that this could happen here in Boulder. This, of course, a reminder that it can, and please hug your families a little bit tighter tonight. Ashley Michaels, Fox 31. Oh, I know I will be. Ashley, thank you. That just emotional sound hits so close to home for so many of us. And from 2 o'clock until 8.30 tonight, we were on the air without commercial breaks, listening to compelling, compelling witness testimony after compelling witness testimony. So many of them rushing out as fast as they could once those shots were fired. Fox 31's Kagan Harsha now joining us with some of those accounts tonight. Kagan. Yeah, Aristea, we spoke with several people who live right across the street from this King Supers. It's right in the residential neighborhood, and it was just uh, surreal, I guess, to say, to, to hear their perspective on this. They were watching this unseen unfold. Several of them actually saw that shooter with his weapon out in the parking lot, gunning down folks. They say it was just uh, it was such a strange sight because you had people arriving here, not realizing what was happening, nonchalantly getting out of their vehicles. Others at that same time were fleeing from the store, running across the streets. But the image that struck me most tonight was that American flag. Flag draped right, out, right outside the entrance of this store honoring that fallen police officer. They arrived from every direction. Police vehicles and ambulances speeding toward Boulder. Meantime, at this King Supers, chaos. And yeah, I saw people sprinting. Customers trying to flee as a shooter fired one shot after another. I saw a man with a, like an, like a semi-automatic rifle um, shooting at people in the parking lot. I saw a dead body on the ground in the parking lot. Anna Haynes lives across the street. The tragedy spilled onto her front lawn as customers and employees ran for cover. There was one woman who ran and started like kneeling on the ground, like crying, screaming. And that was really at the point where I realized that I had just seen what I had seen. Others heard the shots from a block away. I was going to get a Starbucks, yeah. I was one light away from being inside. This man named Brandon got to the store just as SWAT teams were preparing to barge in. The front windows of this building shattered by those crews rushing in to try and save lives. Right before them going in, while they were getting people together and ready to assemble, you know, you could hear shots coming from inside the store. Law enforcement eventually surrounded the suspect, but the damage was done. Multiple people had been killed. When we saw the suspect come out, you could tell he was bleeding from the leg. Traumatized customers and employees were led to safety, most unable to process what they had just experienced. The one old gentleman who first came out, you could tell he was just shook. A store and a community no longer the same after yet another mass shooting in a state all too familiar with scenes like this. And back out here live, we are right across the street from the King Supers here, and you can see there's still a good police presence. I'd say about a dozen police cars in the slot, and this parking lot is pretty full of vehicles. It looks like, uh, other than the police activity, a normal night at King Supers. All those folks that were inside, of course, unable to retrieve their cars at this point, and there is a, it's going to stay that way for quite a while, uh, but just uh, so traumatic for so many of these folks, not just inside that store, but in the neighborhood who could only watch as this played out this evening. Reporting live, Kagan Hart. Fox 31. Okay, again, our thanks to you. There is still much more to cover here as we.